Hey everybody, here is quiz number five in which we're going to use the materials from the tutorial to create a simple game. So what we see here is um, a ball and some walls, and let's zoom out on this. So I'll option, click, and drag to zoom out with the handle so we can see there's actually four walls, two horizontal, two vertical walls, and one ball. And when I reset the handle, I'm just seeing the inner portion of the walls. So this ball can be moved left and right with a multi-slider, um, a multi-slider that has only one slider. And gravity by default is off, but if we turn on gravity, it'll cause the ball to drop. So this button turns on gravity, and we see that the ball drops. We can also give the ball an upward impulse to make it bounce back up. And then with our jit.gl.multiples, we have horizontal planks. There's 15 planks made from a cube, grid shape, and we can see that they are randomly positioned on X and Y, but they're all in the same location uh, on the Z axis. So if we were to rotate this and look at it from the top, we can see that all of these planks are on the same Z, but randomized X and Y. X and, y. and we can see that they become, they're yellow at the top, red at the bottom. And this is more subtle but they become more orange as they move to the right. So we see this is a this is a very deep red, and on the right it's more orange. This is a very pure yellow, and on the right it's more orange. So there's two dimensions of color change happening. And when we position our ball, we can drop it. And the goal is for the ball to get to the bottom and not get trapped. So we've got a second set of vertical planks here. And these vertical planks are similar in that they're at random locations. The coloration is the same, yellow at the top, red at the bottom, and more orange to the right. These planks are not rotated, but they are of random lengths. So when we combine both the horizontal and vertical planks, we get a more interesting maze for our ball to path through, pass through. So again, we position the ball and try to find a space where the ball can drop all the way to the bottom. And if it gets stuck, we can try to use the ball impulse up. And there, that's nice, that got to the bottom. And we have a button up here that gives us a new game, which puts the ball back at the top and gives us a new arrangement. So we position the ball, it's got a little bit of residual motion from its last bounce. And when it's someplace where we think we might be able to drop it all the way through, we drop the ball and see if it can go through. If not, we can use the impulse to try and get it unstuck. And if, it, if we can't get it through, we can use the fader to find another start position, try dropping it again. trying to get it through the maze. And if it doesn't work, we can just make a new game. And try to find a way to get that ball to the bottom. I don't see a solution here, so I'll make a new game. And I'll just play this for a little while so you can see the mechanism. And go to the Blackboard, join the Collaborate session, and ask any questions that you have as you work on it. I won.
I won again. I'm getting good at this. 